Hi, my name is Marnie. What's your name? Pam Newman. Nadine Kotan. Tell us your name. Hi, I'm Melissa. What is your name? Uh, Eric Watt with Dog. with a minor in human development and family studies and I'm planning on graduating in May and then going to graduate school. Do you think that uh, you see yourself starting a family anytime within that process or right after that process? Um, if I were to find a boyfriend or someone that I was really interested in then I probably would start um, a family at that time. Okay. Now, do you see yourself as someone who would choose career over family, and if so, why or why not? Um, I would say that I would actually put my family first, yet try to balance um, my career at the same time. Do you plan on starting a family after college? Why or why not? Yes, I do. Why? Because, I don't know, what's the purpose of life without a family? Do you plan on starting a family after college? If so, why or why not? I do, not immediately after college, because I think that family is important, and it means a lot to me now, so I'd like to continue that. Do you plan on having a family after you finish with your education? Um, yeah, eventually. I do want a family. Good. Do you see yourself choosing your career, whatever it may be, within the field over family, and if so, why or why not? No, my family will come first, but I'll have to have a career to support them. Do you see yourself choosing career over family? Initially, um, because it's important for me to get to be financially stable before I start a family because a lot of society today depends on money, how much money you have, um, and I don't really want to be living off my parents <laughs> for much longer. Do you think that those decisions are, are, are good to make as a woman, or do you feel it's more an individual thing? Um, I definitely think it's an individual thing. Um, I mean, I know some women that are starting families now. I know some women that are ready to go straight forward with their career. I mean, I think it just depends on where that person is at that time. Well, I, I find it a, an interesting question, particularly because if we were just talking about this from a gender perspective, if we say the exact same thing, but pose the question, what happens if a man does the exact same thing? What effect will it have to the to the economy? If, if men did it en masse, then what would happen? What will it happen if, if a bunch of men decided I want to do this and then I, I, I step away and, and um, instead go to a family? That's, <coughs> I, I don't think it really makes much difference from my perspective. And I don't even think from, from an economic perspective it should make any difference between male and female. Does your mother work or stay at home? Well, my mom used to work a day a week. Does your mother work or stay at home? She works, but we own a body shop, so she could be home whenever she needed to be. Does your mother work or stay at home? My mom works. Okay. So she never, like, when you, were, when you and your sisters were small, they... She took time off and stayed at home, or she, took, she worked less hours But she, she worked. Does your mother work or stay at home? Stay at home. Okay. Was it always one way or the other? Did she always like? Were you raised pretty much by a stay at home, stay at home mom? When I was born, she started working part time. When my sister was born, she quit. So, for everything that I can remember, she was stay at home. Linda Hirschman wrote an article called Homeward Bound last year for the American Prospect magazine and it began a ballistic debate and here's why. The number of college educated women who are leaving the workforce to go home with the kids. In fact, census figures show 54% of mothers with a graduate or professional degree are no longer working full time. And Hirschman says this is a 
big mistake that women will pay a large price for it with no measurable gain for you their kids. You think there is nothing that children gain from having their mother, not someone who takes care of the kids, but from having their mother there every day when they get home. There are no reliable statistics showing that the children of working mothers do worse than the children of stay-at-home mothers. From an economic perspective, having intelligent people in the workforce helps the economy. Removing those intelligent people, whether they be, you know, uh, male or female, has a deleterious effect, regardless of, of their, their gender. Women who leave the workplace are ensuring that the hard-won gains made by women will be undone. She said, why should businesses hire or universities give advanced degrees to those who don't use them? Right. This only makes sense, right? You don't need a law degree to raise children. Basically, growing up, you were used to having a stay-at-home mother? Yes. She was always there after we got back from school and before school. is always around. Yeah, my mother has definitely... Because they started out, um, they had their careers first. And so they started out with that. And then to follow that, I think, is a, a good place for me, you know, something good for me to do, start out with a career, have five, six years of experience, build up some money, and then, you know, if I can, you know, be Family safe. comes first, then religion, and then career. So family, religion. Because I'm working for my family, so what's the point of choosing my career over my family? You know, if a person has children, you know, and they're a man, you don't really consider it in the same way that you would if, 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 there's, a, if there's a woman. It should not be, uh, quite clearly, but it is. And that's just, that's just the bottom line. I think that one could argue that these women are letting down the team. Consider a society in which the entire Supreme Court is male. We may actually experience that in our lifetime. <laughs> This is the story of you. What makes you special? Where you come from. This is one of the most exciting stories ever told. Because it's about you. And you are one of the most important things.